Cyber criminals using new malware loader, Bumblebee, in the wild. Cyber criminal actors previously observed delivering Baza loader and Iced ID as part of their malware. Campaigns are said to have transitioned to a new loader called Bumblebee that's under active development. Based on the timing of its appearance in the threat landscape and use by multiple cyber criminal groups, it is likely Bumblebee is, if not a direct replacement for Baza loader, then a new multifunctional tool used by actors that historically favored other malware, enterprise security. Firm Proofpoint said in a report shared with the Hacker News, campaigns distributing the new highly sophisticated loader are said to have commenced in March 2022. While sharing overlaps with malicious activity leading to the deployment of Conti and Diaval ransomware, raising the possibility that the loader could act as a precursor for ransomware attacks. Threat actors using Bumblebee are associated with malware payloads that have been linked to follow-on ransomware campaigns, the researchers said. Besides featuring anti-virtualization checks, Bumblebee is written in C++ and is engineered to act as a downloader for retrieving and executing next-stage payloads, including Cobalt Strike, Sliver, Meterpreter, and Shellcode. Interestingly, the increased detection of the malware loader in the threat landscape corresponds to a drop-in Baza loader deployments since February 2022. Another popular loader used for delivering file encrypting malware and developed by the now defunct Trickbot Gang, which has since been absorbed into Conti. Attack chains distributing Bumblebee have taken the form of DocuSign branded email phishing lures. Incorporating fraudulent links or HTML attachments. Leading potential victims to a compressed ISO file hosted on Microsoft OneDrive. What's more, the embedded URL in the HTML attachment makes use of a traffic direction system. TDS. Dubbed Prometheus. Which is available for sale on underground platforms for $250 a month. To redirect the URLs to the archive files based on the time zone and cookies of the victims. The zip files, in turn, include LNKN DAT files, with the Windows shortcut file executing the latter containing the Bumblebee downloader, before using it to deliver Baza loader and Iced ID malware. A second campaign in April 2022 involved a thread hijacking scheme in which legitimate Invoice themed emails were taken over to send zipped ISO files, which were then used to execute a DLL file to activate the loader. Also observed is the abuse of the contact form present on the target's website to send a message, claiming copyright violations of images, pointing the victim to a Google Cloud storage link that results in the download of a compressed ISO file thereby continuing the aforementioned infection sequence. The transition from Bizarre Loader to Bumblebee is further evidence that these threat actors, likely initial access brokers who infiltrate targets and then sell that access to others, are receiving the malware from a common source, while also signaling a departure after the Conti Group's attack toolkit became public knowledge. Around the same time, the development also coincides with Conti taking over the infamous TrickBot botnet and shutting it down to focus on the development of Bizarre Loader and Anchor Malware. It's not immediately clear if Bumblebee is the work of TrickBot actors and whether the leaks prompted the gang to abandon Baza Loader in favor of an entirely new malware. Cyberison malware researcher Eli Salem, in an independent analysis, identified points of similarities between Bumblebee and TrickBot, including the latter's web inject module and the use of the same evasion technique, suggesting that the actors behind Bumblebee have access to TrickBot's source code. The introduction of the Bumblebee loader to the crimeware threat landscape and its apparent replacement for Baza loader demonstrates the flexibility threat actors have to quickly shift TDPs and adopt new malware, Sherrod de Grippo.
Vice President of Threat Research and Detection at Proofpoint, said. Additionally, the malware is quite sophisticated and demonstrates being in ongoing active development introducing new methods of evading detection, DeGrippo added.